right, guys, it is four o'clock in the morning. Uh, My boy Alex is in. We are hitting some crazy back. Today will be one of those workouts where we're gonna be doing a lot of sets, a lot of reps. No deadlifts, we're gonna do deadlifts on a different day by itself. So pay attention to the small details today. Nice, nice kid. Take a look at the doc. All right, we're switching up to wide grip. Okay. The first one. Here. Yeah. Red is. Good. <laughs> yeah, don't act like you don't know. Don't act White like grip. it. Uh, Come White on. Grip. You're the kid here. Nice grip. Do pull ups, not arms. Can you do muscle ups, Mike? I can. Uh huh. Nice. Good, 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 good warm up. Rest. What did you notice about me? The dope water. You were doing arms. Yeah. There's no back. You just wasn't, you weren't using it. You don't have to have your chest up. You don't have to have anything like that. But you gotta use the lats to do it. And you were pulling all arms. It's just See, about thinking, basically. Exactly. It's like you, you're feeling your elbows and you're pulling your body higher to your elbows. You concentrate on the elbows and you're pulling your body from the elbows, not from the wrists, you know? That's how I feel it. If it works for you, it works for you. Yeah. That's beautiful. Perfect. And it, it doesn't really matter if you're sticking it, if you're sticking your chest right. up or you just. As long as you're using the back. All right, go the same. Close your eyes, slow it down. Yeah. I think now you're feeling it. Yeah. All here. Nice, Red. Nice, buddy. Felt better? <sighs> Whew. All right, get the sets going. Three plates. Come on, kid, wake up. Uh, nice. Uh, nice. Someone's tired today. Uh, nice. Uh, nice, good job. Uh. 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 Nice. Woo. 
Nothing like a peanut? <laughs> Nothing like it. I like it. I like it. So what are you doing today? I mean... Photo shoot. Photo shoot? Yeah, I got to do a clothing shoot for father and son. Uh -huh. They rented a house for us up in the Hollywood Hills, so it'd be nice. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Smarter. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice, nice isolation. Don't crush your balls. <laughs> Very key point on this. This one felt better. <sighs> Most stability. Right. Because I was all disbalanced and my, bi my upper body was just pulling towards. Come on. Come on. Two. There we go. Nice, oh. nice. Uh. So do you split like width of the back and uh, like depth of the back? Just, different days? No. Yeah? Those are on the same day, but I'll do my nervous system on a different day. I'll do the heavy deadlifts. So today it's more like isolation day yeah. and another one is going to be like compound 100%. heavy, heavy stuff. Did you start eating yet? No. Still fasting? One more day. One more day. And what does it do? It tears off muscle. You're tearing it off pretty much working out? Like yeah. And when you're fasting, it's just tearing it off more. More. To grow more? No. No? No, 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 no growing. Smaller. Okay. Smaller. With your experience, training experience, I'm pretty much sure that you know what you're doing. <laughs> I, it's I just do. the first time when I, when I hear something like that. Well, uh, Arnold did it. Oh, did he? Arnold did it. So, yeah, when they wanted him smaller for movies, uh -huh. he would tear it down. And how much time does it normally take to get back on uh, Week, weight? Two weeks. Tape? Instant. It's memory muscle. Come on. Uh, nice. There you go. That's pretty. Uh, there you go. Uh, nice. Uh, uh, that was pretty. Uh, that was pretty. Wasn't easy though. <laughs> that looked good. So you're ripping out with this one? So now form is different. Oh, okay. More like old school style. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's more like for upper part of the back, like traps and back deltoids. I guess. You got it. Come on, kid. Stay over. Nice. Feet back on the platform now. Go. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Whew. Sweet. Same thing, six to eight. All right, so you got the one form, which is power and technique where he's lifting up, coming back, chest comes up. All right, so that's mid rhomboids, that's everything. Now, I'm gonna put him in a weak position. So you're gonna stay forward, all the way back, good. Lift it up, stay over, pull. Now it's an odd position, 
So it's working all those little muscles you don't, normally don't hit when you're pulling the chest up and working the back. It's a complete advanced exercise. Elbows go forward as far as you can. Nice, all mid back. Nice, everything coming to play. Again, for you guys that don't comprehend this, wait until you got a couple years under your belt, then do this. It's a completely different exercise. And mostly people will look at this and go, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. Because Something the typical crazy. guy only knows about contracting the back. We're out of stretching the back and making it in a weak position. Completely different. Same machine, two different ways to do it. For everything. I think for everything. I think I just noticed. extending it for the bicep, stretching it all the way down for the tricep uh -huh. in the long run. You get these guys that just keep doing this stuff. Yeah. After a while, you just see them like this. Yeah. How you doing? Hold tight. Yeah. Well, it's not tight now. Now it's just, that's all the muscle can do. It shortens. Yeah. It's not elongate. So. I just noticed in my experience that ever since I started stretching specifically lats, I saw the progress. The, I've been doing that. those lats for like a couple of years, pretty much nothing. same level, nothing. When I started stretching consistently, that's Love when, that. Yeah. Love that. I guess I have to stretch everything. <laughs> yeah. The best you can, the best you can. Do you do it like on a separate training or are you doing it? Well, I do martial arts intro? too, so, oh, yeah. so I, I stretch there. Yeah. I don't stretch How many here. times do you train a day? Uh, three. <laughs> three times a day. Yeah. What is it that you're concentrating the most right now? As far as like... Uh, Career-wise. Uh, Time-wise, passion-wise, uh, like... Uh, movies. Movies? Movies. It's solely the focus now. When did it change, or uh, was it like that? Twelve years ago. Twelve years ago. Yeah. When I started doing TV, more TV shows and yeah. Gladiators and Battle Dome and all those kind of things, it came back, and that's what it took over. So when people go, "Hey, uh, why don't you compete at the Olympia?" and it's like, no I, I did that. And no, I did that. So you used to <laughs> move on. Yeah. Every vein is popping up. Man, I missed a couple of meals, and I'm already like. No energy at all. This guy's like not eating for three days in a row and he's still <coughs> pulling shit and tearing it apart. <laughs> Come on, kid. <coughs> yeah. Привет. <coughs> Привет. Alex. Come on, kid. Huh? Never. Never. Get it. Nice. Come on around the back here. Now look at this. Stretch, pulls back. Complete stretch, all the way back. And you can see where it's going all the way down and around. Full contraction. Here's the other thing. And you can say this in Russian. Uh huh. Most people, when they train, they need to see themselves. Mm -hmm. And I believe in, you have to be able to see it without looking. You understand that, right? Yeah. So you gotta be able to see that see it, feel it. in your mind, what's going on back there, relative to in the mirror. Because all bodybuilders look in the mirror, where power lifters just look off. Because mm -hmm. they have to be able to balance that kind of big weight and feel mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And so, it's the two I, the concepts, is I understand the mirror's important, but at the same time, you gotta be able to see it. And that's why I always cover up. I never mm -hmm. really show the physique. Yeah. Um, it's because I'm actually, I'm actually looking at it already. Yeah. Just when you train. Uh huh. Makes sense? Sure. Absolutely. like must do supplements that Mike Ahern does, like what do you take? Uh, I'm 100% on the glutamine, mostly as of late, and not just glutamine, but I would say I'm getting in about 
What do I get in a day? About 30 milligrams? Easily? 30 grams easily. All before workout or you split? No, no? Uh, about 20, 15 to 20 during the workout, uh -huh. and then 15 to 20 after, so it's 30 to 40 a day. Um, keeps me nice and full. Multivitamins, uh -huh. uh, vitamin D, vitamin C, basic stuff uh -huh. is, is the go-to. Okay, um, creatine? K2, no, not creatine. No? no? I'm more, I'm more. It's holding water? Because no, of that. it's just, it's, the glutamine keeps me nice and full enough uh -huh. um, to where it's more of everything else. It's, a, it's the connective tissue, the skin, the collagen, uh, the joint support, the fish oils. Yeah. Those are my keys. Because uh -huh. if you're, again, for me, it goes back to the point of, if you're thinking solely about muscle, that's going to come and go. But it's everything around it that's more important. The skin, because yeah. here's the thing people don't get. Hey, you're in shape, right? Yeah. They think I'm in shape for 50. No, <laughs> there's other guys that are in shape. The difference is my skin, my skin's like a 20 year old. There's no loose skin on the body. Yeah. That's the key point. The face is youthful. Um, the joints are youthful. It's all the things that people don't notice. They just go, you're muscular. Yeah. It's not about that. I, I know 50 year olds that are muscular everywhere, but they look 50 or they look 70, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. You know, there's 30 year olds now that look 50. The whole and what about protein? Do you, or do you just prefer to take it from, from the real food? I'm do a steak, steak like, guy. Steak I'm a guy. steak. I'm a steak. I, uh, carbohydrates. I, I don't run away from carbohydrates. Um, what are your favorite ones? Like white rice? White, white rice. White, white rice. rice. Uh, oatmeal. Yeah. Everything that everybody runs away from is the stuff I stay with. <laughs> Potato, sweet potato, sweet potatoes, yeah. potatoes, really? fruit at night. Oh, yeah. People say that there is no, it's not consuming in your glycogen, so it's okay. not useful. <laughs> say yes, say yes. That's what keeps me strong and full throughout the whole year. So those are the things that everybody else runs away from because they think it's, it's like this new modern day. Ah, oh, fruit is bad for you. Don't do so carbohydrates, don't right? do this. Do tons of fat. Yeah, whatever works for you. No. No, no. All food works for people. Okay. What, what doesn't work is that people run away from food and they change the body in the way the body works. As they get older, they get more scared, so they run away from stuff. Then they get even older, quicker. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Conservatives. People get older and they become more conservative. Get this last one. Uh. Uh. Yep. Uh. Nice. Uh. Back and hold. Nice. Uh. Go again. Three more. Nice. Two uh. more. Two more. Uh. Last one. Last one. Uh. Come on. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Three. Get it. Three. Come on. Eight. Nice. Nice. Good set. Good set. Good set. Seven. <laughs> so another question that uh, followers of Sport Fuzzle were wondering about. Okay, we all know that Mike is very strong, his body all muscular and stuff, but how does he take care of his skin? Like how, how does he manage to look so young? <laughs> uh, Here's one of those, a couple things. Remember when you were a kid and your mom said to wear sunblock? Uh-huh. Did she, did she? Yeah, she did. Okay. I listened. Okay. One of the first things I did is I always wear sunblock, but I started that as a young kid. And I know guys hate um, 
and I know, and mostly in America, I, I imagine it's the same in Russia, the guys here like, ah, I don't put cream on the face. That's, yeah. that's a girly thing. 100% yeah. I put cream in. Yeah. I put cream in the morning, I put uh, cream on the, uh, before bed. Um, because I understood, I started modeling, modeling, real modeling, not fitness modeling, but like okay. real modeling, uh, 14 and 15 years old. And by uh, 20, I was doing New York runway and stuff like that. Uh, and the one thing I knew, it was the skin was the most important thing, more than the muscle, more than anything else. And so it was sunblock, lotion in the morning and night, getting facials, hydration, taking care of it, hydration. Um, Hydraulic acid maybe. Anything like that, anything to help the skin regenerate collagen. Um, Plenty of water. Uh, Do you say collagen? Because some people say that it's not consumed by your body if you take it from, from the outside. If it gives you 1%, would you do it? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Makes sense. But see, that's, that's society. <laughs> society is, well, you know, the studies say, have you tried it? People do this a lot. They go, well, wait, you know what? I read that it says this. Don't read it. Try it's fine it. to read yeah. it. Try it. Apply it for yourself. Then if it works, great. If it doesn't work, then move on. Yeah. But society is one of those things that they read something, they go, that doesn't work for you. As you get older, go lightweight, lots of rep. Why? Because that's what everybody says. Uh -huh. It's the complete opposite of what you should do. Because it's more, you're doing more work. And so you're tearing down the joints relative to heavier because your body adapts. Mm -hmm. Remember your body adapts to everything, right? Yeah. So if you do a high calorie diet, your body will adapt in time. But if you do a low calorie diet, your body will starve and will adapt to that's all you can take in. So now you're this guy that walks around at 250, taking in a thousand calories and no carbohydrates. And it's you just wrecked your body. your body. Yeah. So that's one of the big points is that, that I go back to how you should be as a youngster. Uh -huh. Keep the calories high, lift as heavy as you can for you. You don't need to lift as heavy as I do. Yeah. But you gotta lift as heavy as for you. Uh -huh. And take care of your skin. It's the most important thing because everybody says the same thing. Uh, I know 50 year olds that are in shape, but they have the loose skin. They look 100 years old. Yeah. 30 year old competitors look 100 years old now. That's what it is, yeah. So, and the, the whole point is to be look healthy. Yeah. And a question that I got personally from myself ever since I started like bulking, these short periods when I'm bulking, my body and my face also is starting uh, holding water. Uh, do you have any recommendation like how to? Minimize that? No. No? No, because my body is the same way. It holds water when you're bulking and you're taking that many when calories. When you're taking a lot of carbs. But understand this. It's replenishing your body. So there should be a period where you don't worry about it as much. So I'll travel through March through December, I travel. Mm -hmm. And then from December to March, I eat. And I'll get back to my normal 290 pounds. And I'll stay there to make sure the body heals. Then I'll slice up again Joints for the whole year. And everything. Everything. That's what There's got to be an off season. Yeah. You can't look great like 100% and be. If you're always healthy, trying to look great, all the time. you're going to be going backwards because you're always in a deficit. And if you're always in a deficit, what happens? Your body's starving. Breaking your body down. Breaking down. Yeah. So basically, your recommendation is just to take it easy at this period of time and take it easy, relax, don't stress. Your body's going to hold water. You're going to be bigger. Think of it as um, like a bear has to recover, yeah. has to hibernate. Take care of yourself. That will allow you to keep going. Here's the problem. You know this as well as I do. In the health and fitness world, these guys will pound their heads against the wall trying to get better every single day. Instead of going, I need to teach the body to work less but still move forward. Mm -hmm. Where they're trying to work more and more and more. But if you're always working more, you're burning yourself out. And that's Ruining why they don't last. Body. Yeah. Bones, joints, everything. skin, everything, yeah. Their Organs. Everything. Yeah. It's the things you don't see. And take care of the other things that you do see. It's not about muscles, but it's about how good your skin is, how well you're taking care of yourself, and how mentally you're taking care of yourself. You get so stuck in this hole that you can't look at yourself anymore. Professional bodybuilders, they are concentrating on the results, on the placing so much that they just the closing eyes on everything. They just see this goal, whatever it takes, I'll take care of my other stuff later. I got, I'm time. Done I got time, I got I'll take time. care of it later. Yeah, and then everything is just so ruined up that they can recover, like, and something fucked up for, for life.
Get another set. There we go. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Nice job. Nice job. Give me a question, big dog. What do you yeah, got? Yeah, people asking you about uh, uh, family and why did you decide to have a kid, uh, like at this point of life? Because I met the right woman. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never wanted, I come from a family of 10. Uh -huh. Yeah, I remember. So I came from a big, big family, so I'm, uh, I understand I'm pretty selfish. Um, but I also understand how much it takes to raise a kid. And I didn't want to just be in love with somebody. I needed somebody that could actually be a great mother. Um, someone that was a savage and until I met this one at this stage of life uh -huh. I'm like, okay, she could have a kid with or without me So regardless of me, she could be a mother right. You know, the Eastern Bloc kind of woman is a strong independent um, Came to America became a multimillionaire off herself That's a savage And I was like, okay, that's I care about her and she could be a mother. Yeah, that made sense to me. Yeah, absolutely. So, right person. It yeah. doesn't matter what age you are or what time doesn't. it is. Yeah. And the great thing about it is, it's nice that I'm a healthy guy that can have it yeah. at 50. Yeah. So, that was a great thing. <laughs> you give me one more set. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> and he's a monster. <laughs> I just uh, took him in yesterday, and the doctor said he's off the charts. Oh, really? So, he's six weeks old and already <laughs> 16 pounds. Yeah. You're going to be proud of him. Yeah. I'm excited. <clears throat> Look at that. Everything coming underneath. We worked the outside, we worked the inside. Now we're shaping uh, that bad boy. Come on. Uh, nice kid, nice. Uh, 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 let's go, let's go. Staying up top. So you guys are gonna see a little different on this one. Watch this. Feet down low, just your toes. Here? No, just right, right on there. Right here. Sit back, grab a hold. Stretch back as far as you can with the legs. Uh -huh. Back, 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 stay there. Forward, 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 stay there. Pull it up uh -huh. without going back. Go, pull. <clears throat> Again. <clears throat> Look at this. <clears throat> Beautiful. <clears throat> Come on, over, drop it. Now you're gonna wanna bring it up, you're gonna bring it forward. Okay. There you go. Stay forward, boom. <clears throat> nice. Three. <clears throat> Four, beautiful, <clears throat> keep going, keep going. Five, <clears throat> again, six, <clears throat> yep, seven. So it's parallel with your body, yeah. but you keep it like distance a little bit. From a distance from making it push it out. Uh -huh. Take it all the way down. Uh -huh. Back in. Come on, come on. Uh, yep. Uh, uh. Back in. Let's go. Feel it. Uh. Right, four more. Uh. Three more. No fake movements. Some people were also asking, asking you about uh, checks on your health. Like, what do you do? Like, uh, check everything. Blood wise and I check the blood uh, a couple times a year. I check the heart. A roll.
So can you say a few words about this fasting thing that you're doing right now? Because we, we talked about it, but yeah. like here and there. I don't want to confuse people. So my fasting and the reason why I do my fasting is to, is to test myself. It is to test myself mentally to see how strong I can be without food. I do not recommend this for the average person. Um, I'm doing this because I'm experimenting on myself. Here's the problem with most people. They read something and say, this is what works. Well, you don't know if How do works. you know? You, don't, yeah. you didn't test it on yourself. Yeah, you just read and about then it. Test it on somebody. It's, it's like somebody saying like this. Would you go up to the guy with the biggest arms in the gym and say, hey, what do you do for your arms? A lot of people would, right? Yeah, yeah, most of them. Nobody should. Because that guy's one body part that he was given by genetics is the arms. I'd go up to him and say, well what's going on with person? your calves? Okay. He has no calves. I wouldn't ask somebody to train me if there were flaws and he couldn't figure out how to make his flaws strong, how to make his non-genetic body parts better. Keep up. And that is my key. My key is I, I can make somebody that doesn't have genetics calves grow calves. I can make somebody that's an average Joe into a superhero. And so with me, it is continuously studying, understanding the body, first applying it to myself and testing it on myself and then applying it to others. Um, and this goes from every aspect, and, and this goes from how mentally strong you can be and how you can learn from the gym and then take it outside in the working world and use it. But it's not the first time when you're doing this three, four days fasting, right? It's not for me, because remember, my career is different now. My yeah. career now is, is photos and, and movies and stuff like that, so I want to look different. I also want to test myself. It's fun. As you know, you tell me, do I enjoy this? You've worked out with me two days in a row. Definitely you are. Yeah, you're enjoying it. You're having fun, you're having blast. I love you. You have this fire in yourself. Like that's the question what I was asking you yesterday behind the camera. Like how are you keeping this fire in, in you? Like doing it for so many years and you're still like cheering everybody up in, in every single set. Come on man, you can do it. Yeah. It's not it's not fake, you can feel it. I love it. And so that's that's the only point. That's it's <laughs> I really like this stuff and I like studying this stuff and understanding it. And I like what it does for me outside of the, of the gym in life. Now, what about you? What's next for you? Well, as I told you, I just tried my first competition about a month ago. I went to England trying to get my IFBB Pro card. Okay. I competed as an amateur in Memphis. And I was uh, number one in Ireland in my class. But you know that you have to you win have the to overall. overall right. in order to get this Pro card. I didn't make it there. So I guess it's just a matter of time and experience because body-wise, muscle-wise, I still have to gain some more muscles for IFBB Pro League. If I have competed in a European one, then muscle-wise, I'm okay. But IFBB Pro, NPC, they need more muscle. They like more muscular people in men's People don't realize how everywhere. big they are. Yeah. They're big boys. Yeah, men's physique, when they get shredded, they still like... Good-sized guys. Classic physique guys with, with no legs sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not easy. When I first started it and I claimed on my channel that, okay, guys, this is my road to pro card. To be honest, I was thinking that it, it would have been easier. Ah, and when I made it to the stage right. and I saw all these guys lined up, everybody's like desperate to get this thing. I'm like, okay. You're in a not, fight now. It's not Europe and, and it's not those standards. Right. Yeah, those guys are massive, especially with my height, like yep. our height. We're tall boys. You have to fill up this frame, and it's it's a little bit more difficult than shorter guys. To, to You're going to keep going, though, right? Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. You look great to me. So Not for amateur. But it, it's no, you look great for a guy in the, you know. <laughs> random person in the streets. No, also for a guy that's doing it, <laughs> also you can... You can talk, you understand it, and, and you got a good head on your shoulder. But as I told you, since you asked me, it's a very uh, important thing for me. First, I started my project as a journalist, as a fitness and bodybuilding journalist. I was okay. just making use on my project, on my channel. I was collecting information from all over the world, and then I was putting together news. And I traveled the fitness expos and stuff to Germany, to all over the world, basically, taking interviews from Kai, Kai Green, Phil Heath, uh, Dexter Jackson, journalists. Right. And then at some point I just decided that I need to get myself a status. I need to get myself more involved in this so that people could, 
these athletes could relate to me and they could take me more seriously yeah. and to, to take my project on the next level, to step up my project. So I decided that I have to build my physique, I have to compete and I have to get my pro card as a part of big picture. I love so it. that's what I'm doing. I right like now. that you're doing that because it and just shows me that you're in yeah. it and you, and you understand that not only do you want to be able to report on it, but you want to be able to stand next to the guys. Yeah. And beat them. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, sure. And it's another reason why I got over here in LA because I wanted not to just make news about these guys, I wanted to be in the same frame with these legends, and that's what I'm doing right now. Dreams are coming true. <laughs> So you're from there, and you're here living in the dream now. And my guys, they're just so inspired with me uh, shooting the videos like uh, with you. Like, Alex, you're making it happen. We can't believe that it's all possible now. Uh, you're giving us this example that if you have this dream, if you have these goals, you can make it through no matter how difficult it is. Nobody's sponsoring me. Nobody's right. giving me shit. This is you. Yeah, that's what I built up. I, I gave myself this opportunity. I, I made money it. to get over here uh, to, to do all this to make this all happen like reality. So I'm, I'm, I'm very psyched and I'm very excited to be here and to talk to you. Thank well, you. Well, I appreciate you I appreciate you taking the time to do this. Man. I'm glad you came in at 4 o'clock and did it. I feel bad for you, though. <laughs> <laughs>